This has been concerning me for a long, long time now. And it's finally time that I talk about this immediately. Because I don't want to keep waiting this much longer. Ever since the announcement that a new variant came in unexpectedly, of course, back in uh, November of last year, which was already near the last week of the month. And, uh, I have to tell you something about, tell you what I'm feeling about, um, the Omicron variant. I feel that this variant, this new variant, won't be the last if, if the selfish unvaccinated Americans are not going to get vaccinated. I fe- I fear that Omicron, which is a a fourth which is like a fourth or a third variant of the deadly coronavirus is going to at least kill about 900 people and uh, the longer these stupid anti-vaxxers are not vaccinated, the longer COVID won't end. The stupid anti-maskers who don't want to wear a mask, they are eventually going to get their fair share too. Because, in all honesty, and on and and in all reality, both anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers are the same people. So, it's like. If these people who do not want to get vaccinated don't want to protect themselves and their families and people around them when they're walking by, they are the reason that this Omicron variant will not be the last. And while some people have speculated that it might be the last, I don't think so. I think we are going to have new variants again prior to this year. We're we're already in January and this virus is not over yet. So I wouldn't say that Omicron coronavirus is the last and final variant that we're going to have to deal with. I say that Omicron will soon disappear, but a new variant will actually come up. I just fear that it might happen if people do not get vaccinated. Now, I'm sick and tired of this. Like, 
it's been two years since the coronavirus came into our lives. It ain't never done the bust since then. I mean, a bunch of people who are actually smart have taken the chance to get the vaccine because they know how safe and effective it is against the coronavirus. And for those saying that natural immunity is better than the vaccine, that is not true. That is completely false. And you know that. You just refuse to listen to information that's provided, that is actually provided to you from a year ago. All of you anti-vaxxers and maskers and anti-maskers are likely the most uneducated people on planet Earth. And the fact that you won't even get a vaccine to, to like mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and to stop filling up this, the hospital beds with your stupidity. Just so you can go to the hospital one day and fill those hospital beds up. That is the reason why I am furious that this virus is still going on. We're already two years in, and no one is still vaccinated. Well, you know what? Maybe it's time for you to get vaccinated. I don't care what you have to say. I'm sick and tired of the bigotry and irresponsibility from the citizens of America who cannot cooperate to save their neighbors and their and the other people who are walking by around them for reasons. And if you're gonna tell me by creating some fake narrative that you cannot get vaccinated because because you don't want to. That's not a reason. That's just not a reason. If you're actually medically cannot get vaccinated, if you're medically unable to get vaccinated, And okay, you get a pass for that. If you're just saying that you don't want to get vaccinated because you're afraid of needles, like you most likely are, then you're a crazy idiot who cannot comprehend that you do not have a medical exemption Just because you're, you keep begging the CDC and the FDA and the entire government to see what's actually in the vaccines. Like, no one is going to give you a sheet of paper to see what what's inside the vaccines. Those are classified for a reason. If you just listen to your doctors and nurses and the CDC and Dr. Anthony Fauci in the first place, as well as the WHO, 
we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Now do yourself a fucking favor already. And go get back to you. People like you are the worst in the United States and in this planet Earth. And you not wanting to comply, quote unquote, comply. It's just way more idiotic and cannot, you know, protect yourself from COVID. All because you think that there's something wrong in vaccines when you know in fact that there's not. You already seen reports that the vaccines are safe and effective. There's no reason to keep fighting against it every time. There's no reason to keep fighting against it because you want to see it in person. No, like, you're not going to see it in person. You're not going to see how the data works in person. You can just look up online like everyone else. That's what it's there for. You're not going to go up to the CDC or the FDA and see in person. No. That's just not going to work. If you're really scared of vaccines, just say that you hate needles and move on. There's no reason for you to go on a tirade like this. So instead of being an asshole that you people are, a naive asshole that, that is, get your vaccination and stop putting your unvaccinated selfishness in America's hospital beds. Because no longer. Because the longer it does continue, the more we won't be done with COVID. It's not that hard to understand that this coronavirus is a deadly virus from the unvaccinated. That's why the coronavirus pandemic is still not done with us. MV. And again, if you just listen to the doctors and nurses in your area, as well as the CDC, Dr. Anthony Fauci, WHO, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. And we would be done by now. So quit crying like crybees already. And go to your doctors now. Call them. Ask them questions. Just do that and stop being a bitch. Stop being a fucking bitch about the vaccine and just go get the shot. Otherwise, you're going to make this harder for everyone else for the next three to six months ahead of time. Like, this virus is a serious, serious thing. And it's not to be played around with. It's not a toy. It's a deadly virus, and it can kill you. If you don't take the necessary precautions, such as wearing a mask and getting vaccinated. So please, do take a vaccine. I want everyone's lives to go back to normal too, but we can't do that unless you 
do your part already. Because if you continue to not do your part, the longer this virus is going to stay with us. And the more people are going to be killed, including me and my parents. So, if you don't want that, then do yourself a favor and just go get the shot. Just go get it. I'm sick and tired tired of people who want to claim that that they don't want to do it because it's their choice and that being forced to get vaccinated violates their free will or independent decision making. Like, your free will is the reason why it's causing people to get COVID. Like, I'm sorry, but the independent decision making isn't helpful enough to help America beat the coronavirus. So quit selfishly thinking about yourselves, people, and start thinking about others. America will not be done with COVID until everyone is 100% vaccinated. That is the goal, and that is the way it is. If you don't get vaccinated, you die. If you do get vaccinated, you will only receive mild COVID symptoms. And no, you do not die from the vaccine. That is a myth that has been debunked for months, so don't even try it in the comment section. Don't even try to convince. Just get your fucking shot so that 2022 can finally be the year that we can all finally go back to normal at some point in the future. Quit acting like crybabies and just do it. Because right now, kids are dying from COVID-19 as well. All because of your selfishness. You put those kids, those little kids in the hospital. And that's why I feared that the Omicron variant will not be the last one. So please, get your fucking shot now so that we can all be done with COVID-19 for good.